The deeper you dive, the more there is to see. Most of the world will never get to explore the depths of the ocean, and it's something I get to play in every day. Growing up here on the west side, I had a very amazing childhood. Most kids, they were taken to the parks to play, but my dad felt like we were the most safe at the beach. I didn't know that it was not normal until I went to school and all the kids were like, I never get to go to the beach. My parents never take me there. I went to private school most of my life and by the time I was a teenager, I think it was eighth grade, I cried my way to go to Waianae because I was tired of only going to the beach on the weekends because my private school was in Eva. My dad made me promise like, okay, you can go as long as you try my friend's television program, Sea Rider Productions. So that was the trade and I ended up really falling in love with it. It felt more family than actually school. I just remember always being in SP, editing with my friends, doing projects. That's where I learned all my basics in photography and that's why I do it today. I picked up my mom's really rinky-dinky point-and-shoot waterproof and I started getting like really beautiful shots with that because we have like the most perfect pristine environment to do that and it did pretty much all the hard work for me it just looked pretty and from there I was so intrigued with it and I thought wow I can I think I could make a career out of this if I really put my passion and thoughts into it I got started with Facebook and then Instagram and then I was like wow I can show the world now my home and what I love to do and everything that I see and love. A typical day for me shooting in the ocean, I have a, a battle of do I want to surf it or do I want to shoot it? When that lighting is perfect, I'm like, I, I can't miss this opportunity. I really have to shoot it. And I just shoot like everyone that I love and it's so much fun. When it's calm, you're just one with the water. But when it's rough or chaotic or there's waves and energy, I think there's no space in your mind to even think of all of that crazy stuff that's happening in everyday life. I think whenever you're in a stressful situation, just take a deep breath, clear your mind, relax, and rethink of the situation, and then everything will be okay. I feel like my photos are very joyful, I'd say, like it's very vibrant, and I hope it just inspires people to truly be themselves and have fun and spend time with the ones that you love. <laughs> Bye bye. I know it means wealth, but I think in Hawaiian terms of wealth, it's of course not money or material things. I would say I had a, a life of wealth because I had an amazing upbringing from the people that raised me. I wear my family and where I came from with pride. Just being raised in this beautiful place, that's a really, really rich life to me.